So I just got done mowing my yard and it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon and it's only about 65 degrees in May and it's three in the afternoon. And it made me think of a question I had just the other day from a customer. He said, you know, even on a mild day, like a 65 degree day by the afternoon, I'm having to run my air conditioner. You know, will radiant barrier help? And I said, absolutely. And let me, let me explain why because heat always goes from hot to cold. So I'll give you an example. Say you wanna keep your house 75 degrees and it's 65 degrees outside, then technically that house shouldn't be heating up at all. In fact, the heat is, should actually be leaving the house going to the outside. The house should be cooling off on a 65 degree day. But on a 65 degree sunny day, we know that all the surfaces, all the, the walls, the windows, the roof, everything absorbs radiant heat from the sun and gets hotter than ambient or outside temperature. If you go up to your wall or your roof or whatever and you put your hand on it, obviously it's a lot hotter than 65 degrees. And that's because of radiant heat. So your house is just a big box sitting in the sun and you get a disproportionate amount of heat through the top of the box or typically the attic. So on a day like today, if you go up and measure the roof, the, the top of the roof is probably 110, 120 degrees. Um, if you go into the attic and use an infrared thermometer and you measure the top surface of the insulation, it's probably 85 degrees, maybe 90. And so we know that heat always travels from hot to cold. So think about just that attic section. You've got the top of the insulation and then you've got your sheetrock. The top of the insulation, say it's 85 degrees, and your sheetrock or your living space, you wanna keep it 75 degrees. So now you have a 10 degree delta T or temperature difference. So that heat always goes hot to cold, heat's coming in. And that's why a lot of times on a day like today, because you got that big box, the top of the box, all that heat coming through, it's still gonna make you need to run your air conditioner. And some people will say, well, add more insulation, add more insulation, and insulation is never bad, but all it does is slow it down. The top surface, no matter how much insulation you have, will still be a lot hotter than ambient temperature. And this is where a radiant barrier comes in. Basically, when you put a piece of attic foil between that hot roof and your insulation, it's gonna block or reflect that heat coming off that 120, 125 degree roof, and that top of the insulation is gonna stay close to ambient temperature. So it should drop down to about 65 degrees. So now 65 here, 65 or 75 on the inside, you're not gonna get any heat gain. Physics says if it's 65 here and 75 here, that temperature delta or that delta T, you're not gonna have heat coming in through the top of the box. And that's why your home can be so much more comfortable with a radiant barrier. Now, on a hot day, 80, 90, 100 degrees, yeah, you're gonna have to run your air conditioner, but with a radiant barrier, you're gonna run it a lot less and on a day like today, most likely, you probably won't have to run it at all. So that's why and how a radiant barrier works, even on a relatively pretty or a mild day. Remember, heat always goes from hot to cold, and it's not so much the air temperature, it's the surface temperature. So your walls are hot, your insulation is hot, everything is hot uh, in the south, basically hot sunny days, that's what causes our homes to heat up. So. Take a look at installing attic full radiant barrier and your home will be a lot more comfortable and energy efficient. We are the Radiant Barrier Experts. For more information about installing attic foil, visit atticfoil.com. If you're installing a metal or a tile roof, the only thing better than getting a radiant barrier in your attic is to get one above the roof deck. So check out our all-in-one roofing underlayment and radiant barrier at roofingfoil.com. Finally, if you've got a metal building, barn, shed, airplane hangar, or if you're building a metal building, check out our newest products at bluetexinsulation.com. We combine our top quality radiant barrier products with high quality foam insulation to make the best all-in-one foam and foil product in the world.